I think there's a real opportunity for machine learning to empower the individual against uh, the style, the powerful players. Uh, it's as I said in the beginning here. It's been mostly the other way around so far that the big right. players have the AI and then they tell people this is the truth, this is how it is. But it can just as well go the other way around. And when the internet was born, actually, a lot of people had this hope that maybe this will be a great thing for democracy, make it easier to find out about things, and maybe machine learning and things like this can uh, can actually help again. And I have to say, I think it's as imp it's more important than ever now, right? Because this is very linked also to the whole future of life, as we discussed earlier, right? We're getting this ever more powerful tech, you know. It, it, Frank, it's pretty clear if you look on the one or two generation, three generation time scale that there are only two ways this can end geopolitically. <laughs> yeah. Either it ends great for all of humanity or <laughs> it ends terribly for all of us. There's, there's really no in between. It, and uh, we're, we're so stuck in, in uh, because, you know, technology knows no borders. Mm -hmm. And you can't have people fighting when the weapons just keep getting ever more powerful uh, indefinitely. Eventually, uh, luck's, the luck runs out. And, and you know, the, the, right, like right now we have, I love America, but the, the fact of the matter is what's good for America is not opposite in the long term to what's good for other countries. It, it would be if this was some sort of zero sum game, like it was thousands of years ago, when the only way one country could get more resources was to take land from other countries, because that was basically the resource, mm -hmm. right? Look at the map of Europe, some countries kept getting bigger and smaller, mm -hmm. with endless wars. But then since 1945, there hasn't been any war in Western Europe, and they all got way richer because mm -hmm. of tech. So the, the optimistic outcome is that the big winner in this century is gonna be America and China and Russia and everybody else because technology just makes us all healthier and wealthier and we just find some way of keeping the peace on this planet. Uh, but I think, unfortunately, you know, there are some pretty powerful forces right now that are pushing in exactly the opposite direction and trying to demonize other countries, which is just makes it more likely that this ever more powerful tech we're building is gonna be, be used in disastrous ways. Yeah, for aggression versus cooperation, that kind of thing.